Measurement of an angle Protractor Protractor is a device we usually find it in our geometry box. It is the most important tool to measure angles. The protractor looks like the ones shown on the screen. This is called the baseline of the protractor. This is the inner scale and this is the outer scale. This point is called as the central point of the protractor. How to measure an angle with a protractor? Place the central point of the protractor on the vertex of the angle. Line up one side of the angle with the baseline of the protractor where you see the number 0. Read the degrees where the other side crosses the number scale. Take care to read from the right set of numbers. A protractor has two sets of numbers. If you look at right part of the protractor, you will find one set goes from 0 to 180, the other set from 180 to 0. Which set you read depends on how you place the protractor. Place it so that one side of the angle lines up with one side of the zeros and read that set of numbers. In the examples shown, we lined up the one side of the angle with the zero of the inner set of numbers. So, to measure the angle, we need to read the inner scale. In the examples shown here, we have lined up the one side of the angle with the zero of the outer set of numbers, which is on the left side. So, to measure the angle, we need to read the outer scale. Constructing an angle using a protractor We are already familiar with the geometrical instrument called the protractor as shown on the screen. We can construct an angle of any measure from 0 degrees to 180 degrees in both clockwise and anti-clockwise direction with a protractor. The clockwise scale starts from 0 degrees on the left and increases in clockwise direction and reaches 180 degrees to the extreme right. The anti-clockwise scale starts from 0 degrees to the right and ends at 180 degrees on the extreme left. A protractor also has a baseline along which one of the angle's leg is aligned to measure an angle. For constructing angles of any given measure, be it an acute, an obtuse or a right angle, the simplest method is by using a protractor. Let us construct an angle 120 degrees. The required steps are as follows. Draw a line segment BC which is one of the arms of the angle that is to be constructed. Place the protractor with its point O on the point B of the line segment BC. Align OQ along the edge BC. The protractor has two-way markings. We consider the scale which has 0 degrees near the point C for construction. Mark point A next to 120 degrees marked on the scale. Align OQ along the edge BC. Join points A and B. Angle ABC is equal to 120 degrees and is the required angle.